Well, the cryptocurrency market is back in the green today. Yesterday, we saw Bitcoin briefly fall below 6,000 US dollars. Today, climb back over 6,400. Yesterday, we saw Ether hit its lowest level in a year. After a Bloomberg report suggested that investors who purchase Ether to take part in ICOs are now cashing out to cover expenses. Yesterday, Ether dropped below 260 US dollars, which is the lowest level it hit this year. Today, we saw it climb back towards 290. Mobile payments company Square announced that customers in every part of the US can now buy and sell Bitcoin through the firm's mobile app Cash App. Previously, Cash App was not allowed to offer these services in New York, Georgia, Hawaii, and Wyoming, but they recently lifted these restrictions. In June, Square became the ninth company to receive a New York Bit license. Out of the top 30 cryptocurrencies today, Tezos, Quantum, Digibyte, and Bitcoin Gold reported the largest gains. Bitcoin Gold gained more than 18% over the past 24 hours, so let's check it out. This week, Bitcoin Gold signed an agreement about the crypto market development with cryptocurrency exchange Exmo. The parties agreed about the active participation in development of the crypto market, as well as to provide each other necessary and feasible support in the context of popularization, expansion and safety of blockchain and derived products. And cryptocurrency wallet Edge announced that it has added support for Bitcoin Gold, Tether, Digibyte and Vertcoin. Yesterday, we saw Bitcoin Gold fall to a record low of almost 16 US dollars. Today, we saw it climb back towards 20. On December 20th, 2017, we saw it hit a record high of over 470 US dollars. Bitcoin Gold is in 24th place in terms of market cap. Thanks for watching today's cryptocurrency news update, and don't forget to share your predictions in the comments below. And see you again tomorrow.